Are you serious? Are you serious? Yellowstone, 464 earthquakes in the last 20, excuse in the last week have happened in Montana at Yellowstone National Park around this and on top of and right at the super volcano. This thing is ugly. The fountain paint pot uh, that continues to, to bubble and to feel the pressure. The ground is raising and NASA is so concerned. They're flying constantly over top of it now with that super infrared telescope <clears throat> that can look down and monitor the movement of the magma and the lava. They know this thing is something's not right. You just don't have 464 earthquakes where a super volcano is and just let it just, just, it's not water off a duck's back here. We got a problem. I mean, we had a quake in there just a few days ago of, uh, and, and, uh, of about 3.8. We've had several over 2.5. We've had 464 in all and it's, it is not over. The super volcano at Yellowstone National Park has been hit with more than these 400 earthquakes, and researchers say it's nothing to be alarmed about, though. What? That's, they have to put that out there, calm down everybody. But in a statement to the Star Valley Independent, scientists from the University of Utah, which monitors this super volcano, said the earthquake swarms are nothing new, but they're intensifying. Matter of fact, this is the highest number of earthquakes at Yellowstone in a single week. In the past five years, they've been monitoring. There were swarms back in 2002, 2004, 2008, and 2010. But this is uh, very, very uh, powerful. Matter of fact, we had a 4.5 earthquake hit Montana at Yellowstone back on June 15th. And uh, since June 12th, there's been 464 earthquakes there. So we know that we're dealing with here... There's been approximately 30 earthquakes that were higher than 2.5, between 2.5 and, uh, and a magnitude of 3. So there's something going on. The U.S. Geological Survey, of course, they're all over it. NASA's monitoring it. The, the, the University of Utah, they're on top of it. Everybody knows this is important, and so we'll continue to keep a close eye on it. I'm not going to just... Let this get swept on the rug and not talk about it. We must watch it. Now, if the swarm ends and things can calm down, then good, because we've had the swarms before. But, you know, the, the, the surface of the roads two years ago was melting. Uh, last year, we had herds of buffalo and bison and deer running to get out of Yellowstone. So we must watch this. We must keep a close eye because it could bring about a cataclysmic, catastrophic uh, 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 an explosion of biblical proportions that could literally alter humanity on this planet. And so we have to watch it. We're in the last days. We see all the other signs of the end times happening. It's unbelievable. I tell you what, you, you won't believe the messages I'm going to be preaching down in Orlando, Florida, coming up June 30th and July 1st at the Florida Breeze Conference. Pastor Steve Leidig from Hyman, Pennsylvania will be joining me along with his praise singers and Kevin Wilson band from London, Kentucky will be there live. But I'm going to be preaching two messages. Jesus drew the line in the sand and the other message is the sand, the sands of time. So there's a lot in the signs that are in the heavens that we're going to be talking about. And uh, God is certainly moving. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Because we are living, folks, in the last days. What?